The story of the birth of John the Baptist begins with the visit of Mary to Elizabeth while they are both pregnant. Elizabeth immediately recognizes that Mary will be the mother of the Savior, of the Messiah. Mary then praises the Lord for this wonderful blessing that she will have. This prayer is called the Magnificat. It is interesting that the blessing or praise that Mary recites is very similar to the praise that Hannah recites after her son Samuel is born. If you will remember, Hannah was barren and unable to have children, and when she came to the tabernacle, she was promised that she would be able to have a child. Once her son Samuel was born, she came again to the tabernacle and praised God. The prayer that she offers is very similar to that of Mary's. Notice that she begins with almost the exact same phrasing as does Mary. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, mine horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. Mary proclaims, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Mary stays with Elizabeth for about three months. However, for some reason, she leaves before the birth of John the Baptist. John is then born, circumcised, and on the eighth day is named. The family all gathers around and rejoices, which, interestingly enough, is unlike the story of Mary, who will have no family or friends around her. In fact, the only people that will gather around her are complete strangers. As the family declares that the name should be Zacharias, the name of his father, Zacharias immediately asks for a writing tablet, a tablet that may have been similar to a wax tablet that you would impress or engrave with a stylist. The first thing that comes out of his mouth is a pronouncing of a blessing, a blessing not only on his own child, but a blessing on all of Israel. It is interesting that the blessing that he never was able to pronounce as he left the temple on that day when he saw the angel Gabriel, now he has a chance to provide that blessing, a blessing that truly will bless all people. Because through his son, John the Baptist, the era of the Messiah will be ushered in. And as Jesus proclaimed, John truly was the greatest prophet ever to live.